Dress Blues by Jason Isbell is going to be played in standard tuning and it's going to come out of a G progression. The first chord is going to be a G major chord that you will put your second finger on the sixth string third fret. Uh, you'll let your second finger, usually Jason just lets his second finger block out the five string so that it's muted all together. Then you'll have an open four string, open three string. Your ring finger will be on the second string third fret and your pinky finger will be on the first string third fret. So that's your G chord. And you're going to, uh, strumming pattern for this is a lazy down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, that feel. So you'll alternate between this G chord and an E minor chord, and getting to the E minor will be very easy because all you're going to do is put your first finger on the fifth string second fret and open up the sixth string, leaving your ring and pinky planted where they were for the G chord, and that's going to be your E minor. And that's going to be the verse as alternating, the intro and the verse alternating between the G and the E minor. Now sometimes in this G chord you can hear Jason do uh, an ascending riff of... The way you're going to accomplish that ascending riff is it will begin in the G chord with your second finger on the sixth string third fret. It will then go to an open five string, then first finger to the five string two fret, then open four string, then second finger to the five string three fret, first finger back down to the five string two fret, and then the E minor chord. Sometimes it goes, so the way that you would do that is everything to the open four string is going to be the same coming out of the G. Um, once you get to the open four string though, you'll then put either your first or your second finger down, whichever one, on the four string two fret and slide it up to the four string four fret. and then hit the open three string, and then into the E minor. Four. The first change in the verse is going to be moving out of this rhythm from the G to the E minor to a C chord. The way that you're going to do the C chord is you'll leave your ring and pinky planted on the first and second strings third fret and you'll move with your second finger to the five string third fret. Let your second finger block out the four string just like you were letting your second finger block out the five string in the G chord. So that's your C chord. It will then go down to a G chord and then up to a D chord. And the way that you play the D chord is you'll just pull your first finger back to the third string second fret strum from the open four string down and you can either leave your pinky finger planted where it's been the whole time or you can lift up your pinky finger and put your second finger down on the first string second fret. So that would be coming together like this. To the E minor. To the C. To the G. To the D. After that D chord is where the chorus will come in, and the chorus is going to be ascending out of an E minor. So it's going to be the same E minor as before with your first finger on the five string two fret and your ring and pinky fingers planted on the first and second strings third fret. So E minor two, move your first finger to the sixth string second fret. Uh, that's an F sharp note, and then into the G. So you're walking up from the E minor to a G by going E to the F sharp to the G hold the G, then drop back down to the E minor, to the F sharp, to the G, and the second time it drops back down to the F sharp. So that's sounding like this. First time through, E minor, F sharp, G, hold the G, E minor, F sharp, G, go to the F sharp. That's the second time through. And then you'll go back to the E minor, and then it goes to a B minor. Now Jason tends to play this B minor two different ways, either like this, 
which is you've got your first finger on the five string two fret, you'll have an open four string, you'll have your second finger on the three string two fret, you'll have your ring finger on the two string three fret, and you'll have an open one string. So you're either playing the B minor that way, or sometimes he'll also play just a traditional B minor by barring the second fret of the guitar with the first finger, putting ring finger on the four string four fret, pinky finger on the three string four fret, and second finger on the two string three fret. After the B minor, you'll go to a C chord. The C chord will be ring finger on the five string three fret, second finger on the four string two fret, open three string, first finger on the two string one fret, open one string. So we'll go from a C major to a C minor. The way that that C minor is going to work is you will uh, leave your ring finger where it's at. You will plant your pinky finger down on the second string third fret and you'll lift your second finger off the fretboard and put your first finger down on the fourth string first fret. And that's going to be your C minor before it goes back into a G chord and then up to the D chord and then you repeat back into the intro again. That feel. So let me run through the chorus one more time so that you can get the feel of that. You're going from an E minor to a B minor to a C major to a C minor to the G up to the D back into the intro. So those are the chords, the movements, and the progressions to Dress Blues by Jason Isbell. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.